Lonely Marsh on the south coast of Britain, the home of the smallest public railway in the world. This is where it all began, at Brooklands. Two racing drivers, both railway enthusiasts, decided to combine their love of speed and their love of small-scale railways. One was an Englishman, Captain Howey, the other a Polish count by the name of Zabrowski, who raced a car, now world-famous, called Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. In 1924, Count Zabrowski was killed at Monza, and Captain Howey carried on with the project alone. completed in 1928. After the opening, the original works engine, the Bug, was sold to a fun fair and allowed to get like this. Happily, it was reclaimed and restored to its former glory. It's now on show and is put in steam on special occasions. All nine other original engines are still at work today. Green Goddess, delivered in 1925. And Northern Chief were the first two. Southern Maid, Hercules, Samson, Typhoon, and Hurricane followed in 1927. Two American-style locos were added in 1931, their larger cabs providing better protection for their drivers on wet and windy days. Then in 1939 came the war. Hercules was armor-plated, and the army ran the railway. An anti-aircraft train was built, and material for Pluto, pipeline under the ocean, which carried a direct fuel supply from England to the Normandy beachhead, was transported. The pipes themselves were welded at New Romney Station. After the war, the railway, much damaged, was handed back, and in 1946 came the grand reopening. The 21st birthday was celebrated one year later with the doubtful assistance of Laurel and Hardy. Recently, a tenth locomotive, Black Prince, built in Germany, was purchased. Apart from this one and the two American type engines, the other seven are all based on express locomotives of the old London and Northeastern Railway, one third full size. reminded of the strategic importance of the area, for the railway is laid alongside the Royal Military Canal. Soon, New Cut Dyke is reached, one of the many drainage channels which have made the cultivation of the marsh possible. The 13 and a half miles from Hythe to Dungeness makes the line by far the longest 15-inch gauge railway in the world. And so to the first stop at Dimchurch. The station is always a busy one with the train to Hythe passing the one to Dungeness. During the summer, and at holiday times, the service is intensive, and all the little locos are blustered to cope with the traffic. On the way, you can enjoy 
enjoy the comfort of the buffet car. At St. Mary's Bay, there are always passengers to collect. to New Romney, eight and a half miles from Hyde. New Romney is the biggest station and the nerve center of the line where all the workshops and administrative offices are situated. souvenirs, books, and so on can be purchased. The main engine shed is also here, and locos are sometimes changed for the onward journey. Enthusiasts who want to look at and discuss the glories of steam, this is the place to be. locomotives as clean, smart and efficient as they were when they were built still keeps the faith of Captain Howie and Count Zabrowski alive in living steam.